Got about four more miles for the day. Thomas Ellis White Campground down through here. That's where we were intended to stay last night. Good morning. The beginning of the second full day on the trail. And uh, we just left Wolf City. So next stop will be Lagonia and then Pecan Gap. Another one of these fine ridges. Check this out. Quite a difference a day makes. It's uh, about mid 40s right now, and the wind's blowing out of the north. The front moved in last night, so today is not going to be a repeat of yesterday. I don't think we're going to have to worry about being hot, but. Tell you a little bit about what makes these trails amazing. Yeah, there's views we saw the deer yesterday, beautiful night sky, night before last. But it's the people. Yesterday we got into Wolf City, around five, went, had to, well, when we got there, Truck pulls up, asks if we needed anything. We said we were looking for the restaurant. And so he picks us up and takes us to the Mexican restaurant in town. Great food, but after a full day of hiking, I really didn't have an appetite, so didn't eat a whole lot. But it really was good. And then uh, we went to the Dollar General to buy water while I was in the store lady uh, talks to Rick says that uh, if we'd like we could spend the night and they had a shed out back it was supposed to be a storm rolling in we did get the wind and the temperature dropped but the rain didn't come but, uh, we didn't know that at the time and we were going to go to the campground back here but she offered us the use of their shed. Huge blessing. Uh, Jana and Clyde, great people. And they have son and daughter, their spouses all live together. And uh, so we spent the night there in the shed. She offered to make us dinner. She offered to make us breakfast. Very hospitable and super nice. So, Jana, Clyde, thank you and your family. You just probably don't know how much of a blessing that was. You know, we uh, had it rained. To pack up a wet tent and store it and carry it is just not fun. So, you took that away from us and gave us a place that we could stay dry and out of the weather. And then your offers were amazing. So, all right, well, that's how we got on the trail today. Left out about, I think about seven this morning and the sun's coming up now. You can see I've got my fleece on and my hoodie up because that wind's a bit brisk. Beautiful day. You just never know what you're going to get out here on the trail. Uh, check this out. These vertebrae, ribs. Like leg bones, maybe, all from a cow. That's all through there. And then she dropped her phone. I guess she was calling for 911 and they never came. Sad. 
think there's pigs up here on the trail. We get closer, we'll see if we run or not. No, we'll stop. Yeah, those are pigs. Squirrel. There. Saw a coyote earlier. Just a single coyote. So well, there's our pigs. It's always bike. Just had lunch at the, in Ladonia at the Pig and Whistle. And it was good. Five more miles to Pecan Gap. That's where we'll stop for the night. Yep, here's Thing to keep right. dropping. So we made it to Pecan Gap. Not a whole lot here. The trail's not very well maintained in this area, but the people are great. No restaurant but here at the grain store. They told us that we could put up our tents out here. It's nice flat land. So Rick has his tent up there by the right beside the, the grain elevator block man i'm right here out from it a little bit but it's a nice flat spot a little windier but i'm hoping the wind will die down tonight right now it is windy temperature still dropping it's supposed to when we wake up in the morning it's supposed to be 31 degrees and then we'll get on the road about eight o'clock it's another 14 mile day. We had a 14 mile day today. Yesterday was, was a long one with a 20 mile day. Good morning. We're leaving Pecan Gap. A little frost on the pumpkin. Got down to 31 degrees last night. The little boys at the seed shop here in Pecan Gap they gave us permission to set up right there by their grain silos. Blocked a little bit of the wind. Then it calmed down through the night. We're back on a trail. Got about five and a half miles before we start a road walk. Those bridges out. You can see I'm sort of bundled up. Got puffy on, got fleece on. It's a double layer day. The sun is up and it's a pretty day.
Deer. Two. Yeah. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, oh, buddy. I don't know if I got him with this little camera. Oh, fine bridge. Here you go, Rick. This may be the best one yet. <laughs> in there up there. Uh -huh. I wouldn't bounce on it. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a little bushwhacking to go on here. Another fine bridge. They just keep getting better and better. This is Ben Franklin, Texas. From here we'll take Farm Road 38 and hike around the bypass. Get past the bridge that's down. Can we have to see us? Yeah. Good to see y'all. Buzz East Texas honeybees. Get my hives back there. We're all in there. All right. Well, you guys keep on going. And I'll go on. Bye-bye. Uh, one of the great things about any trail is the people. Here we are in Roxton. Had a great dinner. Had a super lunch. I had BLT, Opry, Cokes. Sat in there for a while and rested. Then we turned around and came down, heading back on the trail. Started talking to a guy that owns this this uh, feed lot, this grain grain lot, and he he said, "Shoot, you guys can set up anywhere you want. We own this whole strip, so that's what we're doing. We're taking advantage of that." We had intended to spend the night in Roxton and then hike the final 14 miles to Paris the next day. As we began to set up our tents, Rick took his shoes off and the extended road walk had really done a number on his feet. We discussed it and decided that we were going to stop our hike here. So went back and talked to the gentleman that owned the feed and seed and as gracious as these people are, he called his wife, she came and picked us up and drove us into Paris that night. So this ended our hike of the Northeast Texas Trail here. Perhaps later we'll go back, start at Roxton and start all over again. We'll see. But until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path, and God bless you. <laughs>